everyone, Phoenix Knight here, welcome to the channel, and welcome back to the 1991 playoffs in Payoff Pitch Baseball. We're all set for tonight's Game 2 of the American League Division Series between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Kansas City Royals. We'll take a look at our most updated playoff brackets. Over in the National League first, we see that the Dodgers have a stranglehold on that series with the Atlanta Braves as they move over to Atlanta for Game 3. Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh Pirates and the New York Mets are getting ready for the, their Game 2 on Saturday morning, and we'll talk more about that at the end of the video. The Pirates hold a 1-0 lead on the Mets, and Game 2 will be at Three Rivers Stadium. Moving over to the American League, we see that the Oakland Athletics will actually have a chance to eliminate the Minnesota Twins this weekend in Game 3. And of course, Game 2 tonight of the American League Division Series between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Kansas City Royals is on the docket for tonight. Kansas City leads that series one game to nothing. Leads this series one game to nothing. So with that in mind, let's go meet our starting pitchers. And first up, we'll meet Kansas City's starting pitcher. Starting pitcher for the Kansas City Royals is their number three starter, Mike Boddicker. 12 and 12 with a 4.08 ERA. 180 and two-thirds innings pitched, 188 hits, 13 homers, 59 walks, and 79 strikeouts in 91. We won't have to worry about anything with the batting cards. Now we can go meet the Toronto starting pitcher and take our first look at Rogers Center. Starting pitcher for the Blue Jays is their number two starter, Jimmy Key. 16 and 12 and 91 with a 3.05 ERA. 209 and a third innings pitched, 207 hits, 12 homers, 44 walks, and 125 strikeouts in 91. Taking a look at Rogers Center, Rogers Center is slightly a pitcher's, probably I would say down the middle of the road actually for left-handed batters, but very much a hitter's park for righties with a heavy wheelhouse. Basically every right, every switch hitter will be batting righty tonight to try to take advantage of a very high wheelhouse to right-handed batters. With that, let's move over to the main game area and set everything up over there. The teams are just about ready to wrap up the pregame festivities for tonight's game. I'll move the Toronto bullpen down over here. That way it's out of the way of the dice tower. So with that, let's go ahead and play ball. As the Blue Jays start to get loose in the field, we'll take a look at the Royals starting lineup while Key gets his warm-up tosses in. Leading off for the Royals, we've got Warren Cromartie at first base, George Brett's your designated hitter, Danny Tartable is in right field, Bill Picota's at third base, Brian McRae is in center field, Kurt Stilwell is at shortstop, Kirk Gibson is in left field, Terry Schimpert is in is at second base, and Brent Main is catching. And as mentioned, charged with keeping that lineup in check is the left-handed Jimmy Key for the Blue Jays. Key is all done with his warm-up tosses as stepping into the batter's box will be Warren Cromartie. Didn't hit any homers against left-handed pitching in 91. We'll be using blue, red, and white dice. As you can see, I'm abandoning the different colored dice for the D100. I'm going to go with the more traditional 10s and 1s die. So you can probably guess which way I'll be reading those. I've got the cup here if I think I need it, but we're all set to get into this game. As usual, I'm dropping dice. Kansas City leads the series one game to nothing. Game two of the American League Division Series. Will Kansas City take control of this series going back to Kansas City, or will Toronto salvage a split before they cross the border? Only the dice know what will happen tonight, and the only way to see what story the dice are going to tell is to go to the first pitch. Let's see. Six is going to be a patient 31. Jimmy Key is going to lead that off. Actually, that's against the left-handed pitcher. So Cromartie is going to lead this game off with a base hit. That's going to get just that's going to get past short and just get out of the infield. So the Royals will find themselves with a leadoff base runner right away. The Blue Jays will go to double play depth, and here's George Brett. He hit two of his ten homers against left-handed pitching. Cromartie is an F jump, so he's not going anywhere on the base paths. Key will get the sign from Borders. Key will set, look over to Cromartie at first, and here's the pitch. 12 is an in play 10, and against a lefty, Brett's going to smack that one for another base hit. 
Sharp liner into center field. Runner on first advances one base. And we won't, worry about, we won't worry about the runner on second. So Cromartie will make it to second. Brett will be safe at first on the, on the S8. And that will bring Danny Tartable up to, up to the plate. Hit eight of his 31 homers against left-handed against left handed pitching. Key looking at runners at first and second with nobody out. Tartable, very dangerous. Key will get the sign from Borders. Key will set. He needs, he needs the pitcher's best friend right here. Key will set, and here comes the pitch. Five is going to be a tough 64. And against the lefty, Tartable will smack that one for a base hit. Hard grounder into left field. So runner, so runners will advance one bases, and just like that, the bags are full of the bags are full of Royals already. The Royals seem to be picking up right where they left off in game one. Here is the very dangerous Bill Pakoda. The infield has got to come in already. Jimmy Key is already looking extremely nervous out in out on the mound. Pakoda hit two of his six homers against left-handed pitching. Key will get the sign from Borders. Key will set. R bases loaded, nobody outs. Stadium is not happy already. Bases are full of Royals. Key will set. Here comes the pitch. Nine is going to be a tough 12. That was needed. That'll be a called strike three on the outside corner. Pakoto knew he should have swung at that one, especially with the bases loaded, but that will be the first out of the inning. And here's Brian McRae. Two of his eight homers came against left-handed pitching. The infield... The infield's going to stay in on this one. They've got to... They want to keep Cromartie from scoring, even if they want to try to get the double... Try to potentially get the double play. Cromartie on third. Brett at second... Tartable at first. No place to put McRae. Key looks into borders for the sign. Key will set. Here comes the pitch. 11 is a defense check. Oh boy, somebody's got to play defense. That ball has hit the first base. The first baseman for the Blue Jays is Olerud. His range... His range is a C. He's got to make this play. That's a 74. He will make the play, and we'll see where the ball goes. Let's see. That's going to be a ground ball, double play, A, B. Are they looking at the lead runners? Let me check. I'm just going to check the... Actually, that's probably a defense check. Ground ball, A, B. Well, we have the infield in, so we're going to have to roll on that chart. So we actually, yeah, we do have the infield in, which, let me see if I can find that chart. Ah, here we are. Infield is in, base is loaded. If sent here from a ground out. Okay. So we've got the infield in. Seven, runner on thirds out at the plate, and the bases are loaded. So, for sure, so that's a G1. So, at the very least, McRae's going to be out. But now we need to roll a D10. If it's higher than the batter's run rating, it's a double play. His run rating is an 8. No! So, Cromartie will be thrown out at the plate. McRae will reach... So, Cromartie will be thrown out at the plate. McRae will reach on the fielder's choice. That's a one, two, fielder's choice. Actually, it's that'll be the second out of the inning. That'll be Cromartie who will make that who will make that play. So second out of the inning. Now that we've got that figured out, Kurt Stillwell will step in, step into the batter's box. He is he hit one of his six homers against right against left-handed pitching. Key is trying to get out of this inning with no damage done. It would be a miracle. If there's no damage done here. Key will look in at borders for the sign. Key will set. Here comes the pitch. Six is going to be a patient. 74. That's a fly ball into center field. Getting under that one is going to be white. He'll make the catch. 
and retire the side. Three hits, but no runs. Stadium size. Phew! That was a very scary situation for the Blue Jays in the top of the first. But the score will remain Kansas City 0, Toronto coming to bat now. While the Royals start to get loose in the infield, we'll take our first look at the Blue Jays starting lineup. Once I get their cards over here. Leading off will have the designated hitter, Rance Mullinix. Then Kelly Gruber's at first base. Roberto Alomar is at second base. Devin White is in center field. John Olerud is at first base. Joe Carter is in left field. Pat Borders is catching. Candy Maldonado is in right field. And Manuel Lee is at shortstop. And of course, Mike Boddicker is charged with keeping that lineup in check. As I mentioned, leading off for the Blue Jays is Rance Mullenix. He hit both of his homers against right-handed pitching in 91. No score in the bottom of the first. Boddicker looks in in main for the sign. Boddicker will wind. Here's the pitch. 11 is an in-play 14. That's going to be just a little bit too high. Popped up on the infield. Coming under that one will be Schumpert at second. He'll make the catch for the first out of the inning. Mullenix not happy he got under that one, but he did and he's retired. Stepping into the batter's box next is Kelly Gruber. 12 of his 20 homers coming against right-handed pitching. Boddicker looking in at Maine for the sign. Boddicker will accept the sign. He'll wind, he'll wind up. Here's the pitch. Seven is going to be a tough 62. And that's going to be just a little bit too high. That's a fly ball into right field. Getting under that one for the Royals is going to be Tartable. He'll make the catch for the second out of the inning. And now stepping into the batter's box is Roberto Alomar. Alomar hit four of his nine homers against right-handed pitching. Boddicker waits for the sign from Maine. He will set. He'll wind up. Boddicker will pitch. Eight is an in-play 22. And against a righty, Alomar will continue the inning with a base hit. He'll get that one just out of the infield. And here's Devin White coming up to bat. White hit nine of his 17 homers against right-handed pitching. Alomar is a B, would be a B4, which would be an excellent chance to steal. But are they going to try to run themselves out of the inning? Jump a jump of six against a hold of nine. Um, I don't think they try to steal this early with two outs. That just seems like a greedy play. So White will settle in. Boddicker will get the sign from Maine. Boddicker will look over at Alomar. Boddicker will set. Here's the pitch to White. Eight is going to be an in-play 81. That's going to be a fly ball into center field. Getting under that one for the Royals will be McCray. He'll make the catch and retire the side. Nothing across except a single for the Blue Jays, and we are scoreless after one. Top of the second coming up, and we're looking at the bottom of the Royals' order coming up next. Leading off the top of the second for the Royals is Kirk Gibson. Two of his 16 homers in 91 came against left-handed pitching. Key had a very trouble, had a very dangerous situation in the top of the first, but he managed to get out of it. Key will get the sign from Borders. Key will wind up, and here's the pitch to Gibson. Six is going to be a patient 18. Ball four. The curveball misses the outside corner. And Gibson finds himself on with a leadoff walk. Here comes Terry Schumper to the plate as the Blue Jays will move to double play depth. He hit two of his five homers against left-handed pitching. Gibson is a B3, which is a very good chance to steal. He's a jump of four against a hold of five. Jump of four against a hold of five. He's not going anywhere with that, though. So Key will turn... Key will look at Gibson, who's not going to be moving anywhere. Key will look in at Borders for the sign. Key will set. Here's the pitch. Five. 
is a tough 14. And that's going to be a called strike three on the inside corner. Key manages to blow the heat by Schumpert for the first out of the inning. And here's Brent Main stepping into the batter's box. Main hit all three of his homers against right-handed pitching, but Key is, of course, a lefty. Key will get the sign from Borders. Key will set. Look over at Gibson at first. Turn to Main. Here's the pitch. Three is an in-play 65. That's going to be a ground ball to short. Getting it after that one is going to be Lee. Let's see if they turn the double play. On 2d6, they need a 7 or less to turn the double play. No! Gibson will be thrown out. Main will make second, and there will be two outs in the inning. So, Gibson, right, Gibson's thrown out at second. Fielder's choice. Main is on, and that'll bring Warren Cromartie back up to the batter's box. Cromartie led the game off with a single and was thrown out trying to score when the Royals had the bases loaded. Key looking in at borders for the sign. Key will set. Here comes the pitch. 10 is going to be an in-play 21. And against a lefty, Cromartie's going to smack that one for a base hit. Let's see where it's going and what happens on the base paths. Goes straight up the middle into center field. Runner on first advances one base. So Cromartie once again will find himself on with a single and Maine will reach second. And here's George Brett. Brett is one for one with a single as well. All of a sudden the Royals threatening again with two outs. Key cannot keep giving up these situations. Otherwise it's going to come back to haunt the Blue Jays at some point. Key will get the sign from Borders, though. Borders will set, and here's the pitch. Four is going to be a ballpark check. He's a lefty. 91 is in play. 44. Fortunately, that day won't be today because that'll be grounded right back to Key. He'll move that over to first and retire the side. A walk and a hit for the Royals. But nothing happening there. We are still scoreless after one and a half. Let's get the line score out so I can keep that up to date as well. Heading into the bottom of the second for the Blue Jays, we'll give Boddicker a little bit of time to get his warm-up tosses in while I find our leadoff batter, John Olerud. 14 of his 17 homers came against right-handed pitching. No score after one and a half. Boddicker looking in at Maine for the sign. Boddicker will wind up, and I will drop a die. And here is the pitch. Seven is going to be a tough eight, and a called strike three. The changeup freezes Olerud, and that'll be the first out of the inning for the Royals. Boddicker seems to have his stuff working tonight. As here's Joe Carter. Carter hit 23 of his 33 homers against right-handed pitching. Boddicker will get the sign from Maine. He will wind up. Here comes the pitch. Five is going to be a patient seven. Ball four, Carter will reach on, will reach on a slider that just missed the zone. The infield will go to double play depth. And here's Pat Borders. Borders hit four of his five homers against right-handed pitching. Could they tr could they bunt here with one out? Um, I don't think they'd bunt here. Uh, he does hit into double plays. Hmm, this is a decision for the Blue Jays. Do they bunt and try to move Carter over? Or, no, I think he swings away here. Borders will buckle down against Boddicker. Boddicker will get the sign from Maine. Boddicker will set. Here comes the pitch. Seven is going to be a tough 86. That's a ground ball to short. We got to see if they turn the double play. Seven, eight, seven or less on 2d6. It's a double play. Side retired. That will be... That'll be Stillwell getting that one. He'll flip that over to Schumpert. Schumpert will take that over to Cromartie. 
and that'll be a 643 twin killing. Stadium groans. Ugh. Nothing across except the walk for the Blue Jays. We are still scoreless after two. Top of the third coming up as we're looking at the heart of Kansas City's order due up next. Report coming in from the Blue Jays manager says they need to stop giving up base runners or else they're going to get in trouble here. Stepping into the batter's box to lead off the top of the third for the Royals is Danny Tartable. He had a base hit his first time up. Still scoreless after two. Only thanks to, well, thanks as much to fool luck as it is great pitching by Key when he gets into these dangerous situations. Tartable, or Key will get the sign from Borders. Key will wind up. Here's the pitch. Five is a tough 46. And that's going to be a swing and a miss as Tartable will swing through will swing through a curveball for strike three. And that'll be the first out of the inning for the Royals. And here's Bill Pakoda. Pakoda struck out looking his first time up. Key will wait for the sign from Pakoda or from Borders. Key will wind up. Here's the pitch. Seven is going to be an in play two. And against a lefty, Pakoda's going to smack that one into left field, and that's going to be a double. So Pakoda continuing to do, Pakoda letting the hit parade continue for the Royals, but they need to get some runs out of all these base runners. Here's Brian McCray. McCray hit into a fielder's choice his first time up. Pakoda on second, one out. He's got pretty good power, so his temp so, and he's a deep bunter. So I think they're gonna have, I think the Royals are gonna have him swing away. Key will get the sign from May or from Borders. Runner on second, one out. Key will set. Here's the pitch. Two is a tough thirty-six, and against the lefty, McCray will smack that for a base hit. Sharp liner drops in front of the left field. Runner on second advances one base. So that'll be an S7. Pakoda will make it to third. McCray will be at first. And we've got runners at the corners with one out. They're going to bring... With Kurt Stillwell coming up. Stillwell flew out his first time up. They're going to bring the infield... Hmm... They're going to play the corners in, so they have a chance at a double play to try to get out of the inning. Because he does hit into some, but not many. So the Blue Jays are going to try to play a little bit of defense here. They're going to bring the corners in, but see if they can hit into, get a, into a double play. So Key will get the sign from Borders. Key will set. Here's the pitch. Pulling that through. Five is going to be a tough 22. Stillwell will swing through that high heat, and that'll be the second strikeout of the second strikeout of the inning for Key. Also the second out of the inning. And here's Gibson. Gibson walked his first time up. Runners at the corners. Two outs. Kansas City threatening yet again. Key will get the sign from Borders. Key will set. Looking at McCray at first. Pakoda at third. Key will turn to Gibson. He will kick. And here's the pitch. Eight is a tough 23. And Gibson's going to get frozen by the changeup and strike out looking. He will once again get out of trouble in the top of the third. And Kansas City strands two more base runners. Stadium sighs again. Phew! Now they're hoping their offense can give Key a little bit of help here. Because if they can't... they got to give Key something to work with. Key is... Basically having to keep this game scoreless all by himself. But we'll be starting with the bottom of Toronto's order as Candy Maldonado will make his first appearance at the plate. Four of his seven homers, probably while he was in Toronto, came against right-handed pitching. Boddicker will get the sign from Maine. Still scoreless in the bottom of the third. Royals lead the series 1-0. Boddicker will wind up. He will kick. And here's the pitch. 
Six is going to be an in play, but a 74 is going to be way too high. That's going to be grounded to second. Getting after that one for the Royals is going to be Schumpert. Then move that over to first for the first out of the inning. And here's Manuel Lee. No homers to speak of in 91. Only a 209 average against righties. Boddicker will get the sign from Maine. Boddicker will wind up, and here comes the pitch. Six is an in play 14, and against a righty, Lee will smack that one right into right field, just into right field for a base hit. And Lee will become just the third base runner that the Blue Jays have had today. The Royals have had quite a few more than that, but they've stranded a lot of base runners. Anyway, on that note, we have one out in the inning. The infield will go to double play depth. And here's Rance Mullinex. Mullinex is 0 for 1. Could Lee try to swipe a bag here? B4 is an excellent chance. He's a jump of 4 against a hold of 9. He's going to try to get the jump. He needs a 70 and under to get the jump. That's a 96, so Lee will stay put. Boddicker will turn and deal with Mullinix. He'll get the sign from Maine. Boddicker will set. Here comes the pitch. Five is a patient 0-0. Zero, zero. We're going to have a rare play with men on. I need to find the patient rare plays with men on. Runners on base. Patient. Here we are. Ninety-eight. Pitcher throws a strike that's down that's down the middle, and but slightly above the belt. Um calls the pitch a ball, and the batter walks. If the fifth inning or earlier, the pitcher bears down and strikes out the remaining batters this inning. If sixth inning or later, the pitcher argues the call and is ejected. Okay, so Mullinix walks. So Mullinix walks. Lee makes second. But it's going to end up being for nothing for the Blue Jays because the pitcher will strike out the remaining batters this inning. So Gruber will strike out looking, as will Alomar. At least is what I'm getting out of that rare play. So a single and a walk for the Blue Jays, and we remain scoreless after three. Top of the fourth coming up, and we are looking at the bottom of Kansas City's order due up next. Despite Kansas City's best efforts, we are scoreless after three. Heading into the top of the fourth, Terry Schumpert will lead off for the Royals. Schumpert struck out looking his first time up. Key has had to pitch out of a couple jams already. His offense has got to give him some help before the Royals eventually bury him in the, in the law of averages. Key will get the sign from Borders. He will set, and here comes the pitch. Seven is going to be an in-play 61. That's going to be flight into right field. Coming under that one is going to be Maldonado. He'll make the catch for the first out of the inning. And here's Maine coming up. Maine is 0 for 1. He hit into a fielder's choice back in the second. Key gets the sign from Borders. Key will wind up, and here's the pitch. Five is a tough 98. Fly it into right field. Maldonado once again getting under that one. A little bit on the run this time. He'll make the catch, though, for the second out of the inning. Back to the top of the order with Cromarty. Cromarty is two for two. He's singled twice tonight. Key will look in at Cromarty. He'll look to borders for the sign. Key will wind up, and here's the delivery. Nine is a tough 69. Grounded over to short. Actually, no. 69 against the lefty is a base hit. I was about to say, I was about to say, Key gets out of the inning, but no, he doesn't. That's actually going to get smacked right out of the infield, and Cromartie will be on for the third time today. Here's Brett. Brett is one for two with a single, and he's grounded out today. 
He will get the sign from Borders. He will set, he will kick, and here's the pitch. Five is going to be a tough 73. And it's grounded to short. Alomar will get to that one. He'll flip it over to Olerud at first and retire the side. Nothing across except the single for Kansas City. And we remain scoreless after three and a half. Boddicker will finish his warm-up tosses as he's looking at the middle, at the four or five sit, the middle of Toronto's order. Here's Devin White coming up. White is over one. He flew out his first time up. Boddicker looking in at Main for the sign. Boddicker will wind up. Here's the pitch. Four is going to be a tough 31. And White's going to swing through a curveball, get over top of it. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Here's Olerud. Olerud is 0 for 1. He struck out looking his first time up. Boddicker will get the sign from Borders. Boddicker will wind. Here's the pitch. 5 is going to be a patient 29. Ball 4. Curveball misses the zone. Olerud's on first base with a free pass. The one out free pass. That'll bring Carter up. Carter is... Or Carter has a walk his first time up. Olerud's an F, F steal, so he's not going anywhere on the base pass. The Royals are at double play depth. Boddicker will get the sign from Borders. Boddicker will set. Here's the pitch. Eight is going to be an in place seven. And against a righty, Carter's going to smack that one for a double. Let's see what happens here. Line drive into the alley that's going to go all the way to the wall to center field. Runners will advance two bases. Olerud will be on second. Carter, or third, Carter will be on second with a double. It's going to be a D8. Stadium cheers. Yay! And here's Pat Borders. Borders is... Borders is 0 for 1. He hit into a double play. Rogers Center is buzzing right now. Olerud on second. Car on third. Carter on second. One out. Infield is going to play in on this one. Trying to keep Olerud from scoring. Boddicker looking a little bit nervous. He will look in at Maine for the sign. Boddicker will set. Rogers Center hoping for a great hit. Boddicker looks to Carter at second. Olerud at third. Turns to the plate. Boddicker will kick. And here's the pitch. Six is an in play 52. And it's grounded to, grounded to third. We got to see what happens on the infield in chart. Once I find it again. Um, it's probably under the steel chart. Here we are. Infield in. Let's see what happens with Olerud. Batters out. Runner on first advances. Other runners hold. So borders will be out on the... Borders will be out, but everybody else is going to hold. And here's Maldonado. Maldonado is 0 for 1. He grounded out his first time up. Blue Jays trying to take advantage of the one-out double from Carter. Boddicker trying to get out of this situation. Boddicker will look in at main for the sign. Boddicker will set. Cast his eye to Carter at second. Olerud at third. Turns to the plate. Boddicker will kick. And here's the delivery. Oop. I'll re-roll that one. 11 is an in-play 29. Oh, against the left, against the right, that's going to be just too high. That's going to get popped up on the infield. Schumpert will get under that one for the Royals. He'll make the catch and retire the side. A walk and a double, but the Blue Jays can't do anything with it. Stadium groans. Ugh. And we remain scoreless after four with a pitcher's duel brewing tonight. Top of the fifth coming up, and Kansas City is sending the heart of their order to the plate. Key will finish his warm-up tosses, 
as Danny Tartable will step into the batter's box to lead off the top of the fifth. Tartable is one for two with a single and a strikeout today. Still scoreless, getting ready for the top of the fifth. Key will look in at borders for the sign. Key will wind up. Here's the pitch. Six is going to be a patient 51. And against the lefty, ball four. Key will have another curveball miss. And Tartable will find himself on with a leadoff walk. The Blue Jays will go to double play depth as here's Bill Picota. Picota is... Picota is one for two with a double and a strikeout today. Tartable not going to do much on the base paths today. Key will look in at borders for the sign. He will set. Cast an eye to Tartable at first. Turns to Picota. Key will kick. Here's the pitch. Six is going to be a patient six. That'll also be ball four. Key having some control issues this inning. And just like that, thanks to two free passes, the Royals have something cooking just like that. Here's McCray. McCray is one for two. Tartable still not a danger to do much any, of anything on the base paths. Key will get the sign from Borders. Looks over to Tartable at second. Pakoda at first. Key will set. He'll kick. Here's the pitch. Five is going to be a tough 13. And boy, did Key need that. McCray McCray's nice enough to swing through a changeup for Key and get the first out of the inning. That'll keep the infield at double play depth. And here's Stillwell. Stillwell is 0 for 2. He's struck out and flown out today. Key trying to get out of the inning. The infield will remain at double play depth. Key looks in at borders to get the sign. Key will set. Looks to Tartable at second. Pakoda at third. Game tied at goose eggs, top of the fifth. Royals lead the series 1-0. Key will set. Here's the pitch. Seven is an in play 53. That's a ground ball to third. Getting to that one is going to be Gruber. We need to see if they turn the double play, though. The switch left. Actually, the, yeah, the switch right. So that'll be... Second base on pivot. So we need to see if they turn the double play, though. Six or less, the Blue Jays get out of the inning. No! Tartable will be... I believe if that ends in... It was hit to third, and the percentile roll ends on in five. It didn't. So Picot will be thrown out at second... That'll be a fielder's choice. Stillwell will make it to first. Tartable will move over to third. But there will be two outs in the inning. Nope. And here's Gibson. Gibson is 0 for 1 with a walk today. Key trying to get out of the inning with no damage done. Gibson looks on at Key. Key will get the sign from Borders. Key will set. And here's the pitch. Three is going to be an in-play nine. And against the lefty, that's going to be a base hit. Let's see what happens here. Hard grounder into right field. So that's going to be an S9. Tartable will score. Uh, Still will move to third. And the Royals will draw first blood on this one. And that is the first run of the day. Score is now 1-0 in favor of Kansas City. Stadium groans. Ugh. And here's Schumpert. Schumpert is 0 for 2. Gibson with the first RBI of the first run of the day for either team. 1-0 Kansas City. Runners still on the corners. Still two outs. Royals looking for more. Key will get the sign from Borders. Looks over to Gibson at third. Over to uh, Gibson at first. Stillwell at third. Key will set. He will kick. And here's the pitch. Seven is going to be an in play, but an 81 is going to be grounded to short. Alomar will take... Actually, not Alomar. Lee will take that one. He'll move it over to first. And that will... 
That will... Wait a minute. Where was the second out of the inning? Um, right, Stillwell was... Hold on. Strikeout. Oh, Pakoda was thrown out in the fielder's choice. That's right. So that will retire the side. I just had to figure that out. One run on two walks and a single. And the score is now one nothing Kansas City after four and a half. Boddicker will finish up his warm-up tosses as we're looking at the bottom of Toronto's order coming up. Leading off the inning for the Blue Jays will be Manuel Lee. Lee reached on a, Lee has a single from back in the third. one nothing Kansas City. Kansas City leads the series by that same margin. Boddicker will get the sign from Maine. Boddicker will wind up. Here's the pitch. Five is a patient 63. And against a righty, Lee can't do anything with that one. He's going to fly it into right field. Tartable will get under that one for the Royals. He'll make the catch for the first out of the inning. We're back to the top of Toronto's order for the third time. Here's Mullenix. Mullenix is 0 for 1 with a walk. Boddicker will look in at... We'll look in at Maine for the sign. Boddicker will wind up. Here's the pitch. Seven is a tough zero zero. We're going to have a rare play with bases empty. Let's see. Bases empty tough. Here we are. Fifty two. Batter swings at a wild pitch that gets past the catcher. Runner Rick, record a strikeout and check if the batter is safe by rolling two D six. So Mullenix will strike out swinging, but we need to check his we need to check his two d six. If it's equal to if it's less than if it's equal to or less than his run rating, his run rating is a six. He'll beat the throw to first. Eight. So Mullenix will actually be thrown out like normal on a drop third strike, but there will be two outs in the inning. Here's Gruber. Gruber is 0 for 2. Boddicker suddenly with a 1-0 lead. Boddicker will look in at Maine for the sign. Boddicker will wind up. Here's the pitch. 6 is going to be an in-play 77. It's a fly ball into center field. Coming under that one is McCray. He'll be a little bit on the run, but he'll make the catch and retire the side. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays in the bottom of the fifth. Score is now one nothing Kansas City after five. Top of the sixth coming up, and we'll see the bot we'll see the top of Kansas City's order loop back around. If I'm the Blue Jays, I'm probably looking to give Jimmy Key some help before too much before too long. Because even he can't hold the... Is the way the Royals are hitting tonight, he, he probably can't keep them more off the scoreboard forever. It's a wonder this game isn't 3-0 right now and only 1-0. And I would suspect Jimmy Key is a lot of the reason why for that. But I'm rambling a little bit. Brent Main is coming into the batter's box. Main is 0-2 tonight. 1-0 Kansas City, top of the sixth. Key will get the sign from Borders. Key will wind up, and here's the pitch. Six is a patient three. These three passes are killing Jimmy Key, though. It's ball four again on the outside corner. Key is just Key is having some control issues tonight as well. He's giving his team some unneeded trouble. Toronto is at double play depth. Here's Warren Cromarty. Cromarty is three for three. He's got three singles. Maine is an F steal, fortunately, so he's not a threat to go anywhere. Key will look over at Maine anyway. He will get the sign from Borders. He will set, kick, here's the pitch. Three is going to be an in play 94. Fly ball into right field. Coming under that one is going to be Maldonado. He'll make the catch for the first out of the inning. And here's Brett. Brett is... Brett is one for three tonight. 1-0 Kansas City, Game 2 of the American League Division Series. 
Kansas City leads the series 1-0. We shift to game, game three. We'll shift to Kansas City. Will the Royals go there with a chance to close the Blue Jays out? Or do we go there looking at a best of three series? Key will look in the borders for the sign. Key will set. Here's the pitch. Six is going to be a patient 0-0. We have another play, rare play with patient with runners on. Let me make sure I've got everything for that. Um, oh, looks like it's, this is the whole thing. Okay. 52. Pitcher with a wild pitch range that ends in 31, which he doesn't. All runners advance one base. Lead runner of eight or higher advances two bases. Other pitchers, no wild pitch. Batter takes the count full and walks. So Brett is once again going to get ball four. You're going to get ball four yet again. That is the... Main will make it to second. Brett will be on first. That is the... That's probably a lot of walks. One, two, three, four, five walks this game. We're going to get some activity in the Toronto bullpen. They need to shut this. They need to shut this nonsense down. Toronto's going to go to. Toronto's going to, going to go to Mike. Is going to get Mike Timlin starting to warm up in the bullpen. They need to get some control of this game. Anywho, here's Danny Tartable. Tartable is... I'm going to move the Blue Jays batters off just a little bit. There we are. I don't want to get any confusion there. Tartable is one for two with a single and a walk. The infield is still at double play depth. Right, Cromartie flew out. All right, Maine's still not a threat to do much on the base pass. Key looks in at borders for the sign. Runners on first and second, one out. Kansas City is very much threatening here. He will set. Here's the pitch. Nine is a tough 45. And Tartable is going to swing through a changeup, trying to do too much with it for the second out of the inning. Tartable is trying to extend the Royals' lead with one swing of the bat, and he missed entirely. Here's Pakoda. Pakoda is one for two with a strikeout and a walk. Key trying to get out of this inning. He will look to borders for the sign once again. He will set. Here's the pitch. Six is a patient 28. And that's ball four again. The bases are loaded for the second time this game. And here's McCray. McCray is... McCray is one for three. Key is trying to get out of this inning. He's telling the coach, hey, he's telling his manager, I've got this. I can get us out of this inning. Key will set with a sign from Borders. He will kick. Here's the pitch. Ten is an in-play 70, and he's going to ground that to second. Alomar will get to that one. He'll flip it over to first. And that will thankfully, thankfully for Toronto, retire the side. Three walks, but Kansas City not able to do anything with it. Score somehow remains one nothing in favor of the Royals. Mm. Just making sure I got my lamp straight. Okay. Toronto dodging a, dodging another bullet there, but how many more can they dodge here? We're looking at the heart of the Blue Jays' order, though, for Boddicker, as here's Roberto, Roberto Alomar. Alomar, though... Alomar is actually one for two tonight. He's not doing too bad at the plate. one nothing Kansas City, bottom of the sixth. Boddicker will get the sign from Maine. Boddicker will wind up, and here's the pitch. Eight is an in-play 95. It's a fly ball into left field. Gibson will get under that one. He won't have to go too far for that one. He'll make the catch for the first out of the inning. 
Here's Devin White. White is 0 for 2. Royals lead this game 1-0. Lead the series by the same margin. Boddicker will look in at Maine for the sign. Boddicker will wind. Here's the pitch. 6 is an in play 57. It's a fly ball, this time into right field. Tartable getting under this one a little bit on the run. He'll slow down, make the catch, and that's the second out of the inning. And here's Olerud. Olerud is 0 for 1 with a walk. Two outs in the bottom of the sixth. Kansas City looking to keep it right there. Boddicker will get the sign from Maine. Here's the windup. And here's the pitch. Seven is a tough 79. It's a fly ball into center field here. Every outfielder getting their name called this in this inning. McCray will get under that one on the run. He'll make the catch and retire the side. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. And the score remains one nothing Kansas City after six. Top of the seventh coming up, and we'll see six, seven, eight of Kansas City's order do up next. Jimmy Key's going to come out of the game. He's been having some serious control issues today. Coming in to pitch for the Blue Jays is going to be Mike Timlin. 108 in the third innings pitched in 91. 94 hits, 6 homers, 50 walks, 85 strikeouts. 11 and 6 with a 3.16 ERA. Leading off the inning, for the, leading off the top of the 7th for the Royals, Kurt Stillwell. Stillwell is 0 for 3. Timlin will look into borders for the sign. Coming into a 1-0 Kansas City lead. The top of the 7th, Game 2 of the National League Division Series. Royals leading the series by the same margin as tonight's score. Timlin will get the sign from Borders. Timlin will set, and here's the pitch. 8 is a patient 64. Just going to miss that one. That's going to get grounded over to 2nd. Alomar will pick that one up. He'll move it over to 2nd, or move it over to 1st. For the first out of the inning. Here's Gibson. Gibson is... Gibson's one for two with a single and a walk tonight. Timlin will set. He looks at the sign. Looks to borders for the sign. Timlin will set. And here's the pitch. Three is a ballpark check. Uh-oh. Nine is wheelhouse. Gibson thinks he's got a hold of one. And, uh, yeah, Gibson is going to extend the Kansas City lead. Boom! That ball's high. That ball's deep. Going back to the warning track for that one is going to be Carter. He's back to the track. He's back to the wall. He runs out of room, and the ball keeps flying, and it comes down into the seats. Home run, Kirk Gibson. Score is now 2 nothing. Come on. There we go. 2 nothing in favor of Kansas City. Stadium groans. Ugh. And here's Schumpert. Schumpert is... Schumpert is 0 for 3. Timlin, got to settle down. Have a real quick, real short, short-term memory or the Blue Jays are going to have a short postseason. Timlin gets the sign from Borders. Timlin will set and here's the pitch. Nine is a patient 95. It's a fly ball into left field. Carter will get that will get after that one. He'll make the catch for the second <clears throat> for the second out of the inning. And here's Maine. Maine is 0 for 2 with a walk. 2-0 Kansas City. Kansas City looking to go back home, leading by that same margin. Toronto wants to tie this game. Timlin will get the sign from Borders. He will set two outs in the inning. Timlin will set. Here's the pitch. Ten is a tough 20. And Timlin will get out of the inning with no further damage as Maine looks at a, looks at a changeup just out of the zone for strike three. It looks at a changeup that catches enough of the zone for strike three and retires the side. Only the homer for Kansas City, but man was that a big run. 
We are now at the seventh inning stretch. Make sure you stretch, and once again, as usual, I won't torture you guys with my rendition of Take Me Out to the Ball Game because I am a horrific singer. Anywho, now we get ready for the middle to bottom of Toronto's order. Here's Joe Carter. Carter is one for one, for one actually. He's got a walk and a double. Boddicker, though, is pitching a very, is pitching quite the game tonight. And a 2 nothing lead might be enough for him at the rate he's going. Boddicker will look in at Maine for the sign. Boddicker will wind up. Here's the pitch. Five is a patient 34. And as soon as I say that against the righty, Carter smacks that one into center field. And that's going to be a double. And that'll bring the Blue Jays fans to life as Carter gets onto the leadoff double. Here's Pat Borders. Borders is 0, for, is 0 for 2. He's a C bunt. Could he try a bunt here? Um, Carter's a C... What's he uh, to steal? He would be a C4, which I believe would be a very good chance. Jump of 5 against the hole of 9. He's going to try to get the jump on a very good chance. He needs a 70 or less, which that's a 39 with no pickoff. Carter's going to head for third on a very good chance. See if they can get a runner into scoring position. And he's going to get under the tag. It'll be a close throw, but he'll get under the tag. Carter will be safe at third, which will force the infield in to try to keep the run from scoring. Blue Jays trying to make things happen here. Boddicker will get the sign from Maine. He will set. Looks over to Carter, who just stole third. Boddicker turns to, turns to the plate. He'll kick, and here's the pitch. Nine is a patient 62. That's a fly ball into right field. That'll be enough to get the Blue Jays on the board. Coming under that one will be Tartable. He'll make the catch, but Carter, on a patient, Carter will score on the sacrifice fly. And just like that, the score is now 2-1 to one in favor of Kansas City. As Toronto manages to cut the lead in half. And they get to Boddicker for the first run of the inning. Here's Maldonado. Maldonado is 0-2 for 2 tonight. Just what the Blue Jays faithful needed. Nobody's gone anywhere from Rogers Center tonight in this game. Boddicker will look in at Mal Maldonado for the sign. Here's the windup. And here comes the pitch. Four is a tough 22. And Maldonado is going to look at a fastball that just catches the zone for strike three. And that will be the second out of the inning. And here's Lee. Lee is, over, is one for two with a single. 2-1 Kansas City. Bottom of the seventh. Game two of the American League Division Series. Blue Jays trying to tie this game. Boddicker wants to keep it right where it is. Boddicker will get the sign from Maine. He will wind up. Here comes the pitch. Seven is going to be a tough 31. And Lee's going to look at a slider that gets enough of the outside corner to be called strike three, and that will retire the side. A double and a sack fly makes this, will make this... A double, a sack fly, and a stolen base makes this game 2-1 in favor of Kansas City after seven. Top of the eighth, and we're looking at the top of Kansas City's order due up next. The Blue Jays may have picked a bad time to start a losing streak because they've lost their they lost their last three games since they defeated the Twins on the board to pick up home field advantage for the American League playoffs. They're in danger of blowing that. As leading off the top of the eighth for Kansas City is Warren Cromartie. He is three for four tonight with three singles. Timlin had to come into a two had to, to, to come into a one nothing game. Immediately gave up a solo homer to Kirk Gibson to make it two nothing. It's now two to one in favor of Kansas City. Timlin will look in at Borders for the sign. Timlin will set. Here's the pitch. Six is a tough ninety five. 
It's a fly ball to right into right field. Maldonado, we've been calling his name a lot tonight, will get under that one for the first out of the inning. Here's George Brett. Brett is one for three with a walk and a single tonight. Timlin looks into main for the sign. He will, or not main, into borders for the sign. Timlin will set. Here comes the pitch. Seven is going to be a tough 85. That's a grounder, ground ball to second base. Alomar ranging maybe a little bit to his left, but he'll get to it and make the play for the second out of the inning. Two quick outs brings Tartable to the plate. Tartable is one for three. He's got a walk, a single, and two strikeouts. Royals trying to get some insurance. Blue Jays want to keep it right where it is. Timlin looks into borders for the sign. He will set, and here's the pitch. Four is going to be a tough 17, and that's a called strike three as the heat gets by, as the heat gets by Tartable, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Royals in the top of the eighth. For the Blue Jays' sake, we have not said that nearly enough tonight. This is the first time we've actually said that all night. Boddicker will finish up his, will start his warm-up tosses as we're going to get some activity in the Kansas City bullpen. Kansas City is going to bring in, uh, they want their closer, and I think their closer right now, their closer looks to be Jeff Montgomery, actually, so he's going to start warming up in the Royals bullpen. Just in case something goes crazy with Boddicker and he's not able to get, and he's not able to keep control of this game. Here's Rance Mullenix. Mullenix is 0 for 2 with a walk tonight. 2 1 Royals, bottom of the eighth. Boddicker on the mound, looking at Maine for the sign. Boddicker tonight's starter has very much gone, has gone the distance tonight so far. Boddicker will wind up. Here's the kick, and here comes the pitch. Five is a patient 11, and Boddicker will lead off the inning by giving up a walk. He'll, he'll have a curveball he'll have a curveball miss, and that'll be ball four to put Mullenix on the base paths with a leadoff walk. And here's Gruber. Gruber is 0 for 3. The Royals will go to double play depth. Mullenix is an F. I think Gruber's gonna try to lay down the bunt here to see if they can tie this game. So they're going to go for the bunt, and that'll be hit right over to the first baseman. Getting to that one is Cromartie, but the only play he'll have is to touch the bag himself for the first out of the inning. Gruber laying down a successful sacrifice to get Mullenix into scoring position. Here comes Alomar to the plate. Alomar is... Alomar is one for one for two one for three tonight. Mullenix at second. Alomar at the plate. Boddicker on the mound. Boddicker will look in at main for the sign. Toronto Rogers Center buzzing tonight. Boddicker will get the sign. He will set. Here's the pitch. Eight is an in play zero zero. We're gonna have a rare play with men on. An in, a, an in, a rare play on an in-play with men on. Um, let me see if I can find, here we go, runners on base, in play, okay, it's double-sided here. Fifty-eight. Batter hits a towering fly ball into short right field. The right fielder loses the sun and the light, and loses the ball in the sun or the lights, and it drops it for a hit with the runners advancing one base. Roll 1d10, so runners advance one base. So Mullenix will make it to third. If the, if the right fielder has an arm rating of seven or less, the arm rating for the right fielder is tartable, his arm rating is a seven, so we roll a d10. If the amount's greater than the batter's run rating, he's thrown out before he reaches first. So Alomar's run rating is a seven. That's a one. Alomar is also safe at first base. Runners at the corners with one out. So that's a sing that's an S. 
9. As Mullinex will make third, Alomar will make first. Here's Devin White. Devin White is 0 for 3. Corners will play in. Actually, they'll bring the one out, and yes, they are going to bring the corners in. Before we get to White's at bat, though, I do need to change my battery. Rogers Center is buzzing. Toronto has runners at the corners. One out. Mullinex on third, Alomar on second. A good fly ball probably ties this game. Boddicker looking at it main for the sign. 2-1 Kansas City. Bottom of the eighth. Blue Jays, bet, Blue Jays threatening. Boddicker gets the sign from Maine. Corners are in. Trying to leave a chance at a double play. Boddicker will set. Here's the pitch. Eight is an in place 68. And it's a ground ball to second. Can they turn the double play? We'll find out soon. We'll find out in a second here. That's a G4. Seven, if it's a six or less on 2D6, side retired. No! Mullinex will score, which will be good enough to tie the game. Alomar will be thrown out at second. Devin White, White will reach first on the fielder's choice, but most importantly, this game is tied. Stadium cheers. Yay! Kansas City gambled that they'd get the double play ball. They got the ground ball, but they couldn't turn it, and the game is tied. Here's John Olerud. Olerud is... That was a fielder's choice. Which means White is safe. Olerud, though, is over 2 with a walk tonight. Just like that, this game is tied. Boddicker looking at it main for the sign. He will set, and here's the pitch. Four is going to be a tough 98. It's a fly ball to right field. Getting under that one will be Tartable. He'll make the catch and retire the side. But a batter too late. As a walk, a sacrifice hit, a, a walk, a sacrifice bunt, a base hit, and then a fielder's choice ties the game at two after eight. Top of the ninth coming up, and if we're going to see some ninth inning, some top of the ninth inning magic, we're going to see it from the middle of Kansas City's order. Timlin finishes his warm-up tosses in the top of the ninth. Will we see some top of the ninth inning magic? Let's find out as we'll bring Bill Picota up to the plate for the Royals. Picota is one for two with two walks and a double tonight. Timlin pitching well into the ninth. Game tied at two. Game two of the American League Division Series. Hopefully that's enough twos for a while. Timlin will get the sign from Borders. Timlin will set... Here's the pitch. Six is going to be a tough one. And it's a called strike three. Timlin will rear back and blow the heat by Pakoda, And that will be the first out of the inning. And here's McCray. McCray is one for four. He's got a single and he's done a bunch of other bad things at the plate tonight. Timlin will get the sign from Borders. Timlin will set. Here's the pitch. Six is going to be a tough 71. That's a ground ball to second. Alomar won't have to go very far for that one. He'll move that over to first for the second out of the inning. And here's Stillwell. Stillwell is 1-4. Is 0-4 tonight, actually. He reached on a fielder's choice back in... The fifth, but he's been quiet ever since. Timlin gets the sign from Borders. Top of the ninth, two outs, game tied at two. Timlin will get the sign from Borders. He will set. Here's the pitch. Five is going to be an in play nine. And against the right, he still will keep the inning going with a base hit. And here's Gibson. Gibson is 
Gibson is two for three with a walk, a single, and the homer that gave the Royals the two to one lead. Timlin knows he's got to be careful with Gibson. Another mistake could put the Blue Jays in an 0 2 hole for the series. Uh, two outs in the inning. Timlin will get the sign from Borders. Timlin will set. Here comes the pitch. Nine is a patient 73. And against the righty, Gibson's going to smack that one for a base hit. Long single into the gap into center field. Runner on first advances one base plus. So Stillwell is going to make it to second. Are they going to try to send him? I think the answer there, that's an S8. So center fielder for the Blue Jays is Devin White. His arm is a seven. They're not going to test it. They're not going to try to get themselves thrown out of the inning. Not when, they've, not when they're suddenly going to have something cooking at first and second with two outs for Schumpert. Schumpert, though, is 0 for 4. He's very, been very quiet with the bat in his hands tonight. Here would be a great time for that. Rogers Center is buzzing. They're hoping for a good pitch. They're looking very nervous, though. Timlin will get the sign from Borders. Timlin will set. Here's the pitch. Six is going to be a tough 49. And Schubert's going to swing through the high heat for strike three. Side retired. Stadium size. Phew! That was a very scary situation if you're a Blue Jays fan. With two hits and nothing able, and Kansas City not able to do anything with them in the top of the ninth. Are we going to see some bottom of the ninth inning magic? Mike Boddicker is going to come out of the game. Coming into pitch will be Jeff Montgomery. 33 saves, 90 innings pitched, 83 hits, 6 homers, 28 walks, 77 strikeouts. 4-4 four four with a 2.90 ERA. Montgomery... Actually, I thought he had the save for some reason in Game 1, but no, I think he got a... He got a hold in Game 1. But now he's got to try to hold Toronto steady... To get us into the bottom, to get us into extra innings. Here's Joe Carter, though. Carter is Carter is one is two for three. Actually, it's two for two. He's got two doubles and a walk. Bottom of the ninth, it's tied at two. Kansas City hoping to get this game to extras. Toronto wants to tie the series right here. Montgomery will get the sign from Maine. He will set. Here's the pitch. Seven is going to be a tough 85, and that's going to be grounded over to short. Getting to that one is going to be Stillwell. He'll make the play over to first for the first out of the inning. And here's Borders. Borders is 0 for, actually is 0 for 2 with a, with a sacrifice fly. Montgomery looking at Maine for the sign. Montgomery will set. Here's the pitch. Five is a tough 72, and it's grounded to second. Getting to that one this time will be Schumpert, ranging to his right a little bit. He'll make the play for the second out of the inning. And here's Maldonado. Maldonado is 0 for 3. Montgomery trying to get this game into extras. Toronto trying to tie this series. Montgomery gets the sign from Maine. He will set. Here is the pitch. Six is an in play 35, and it's a pop, it's popped up on the infield. Getting under that one is going to be Schumpert. He'll put his glove up, and the ball will fall right into it. And we've got bonus baseball tonight. Score is tied at two after nine. Um, shoot. Forgot to get anybody warming up for Toronto, but we are in the we're going to be in the top of the tenth. Looking at the bottom of Kansas City's order, coming up next. I forgot to get anybody warming up for Timlin to come in, for Toronto to come in, but Timlin is going to come out of the game. Coming in to pitch is going to be Jim Acker. 
Three and five with a 5.20 ERA, 88 and a third innings pitched, 77 hits, 16 homers, 36 walks, and 44 strikeouts in 91. He will not be jarring the camera, hopefully, but he'll be charged with the bottom of Kansas City's order in the top of the 10th. Here's Brent Main. Main is 0 for 3 with a walk tonight and a field and reached on a fielder's choice. Tied at 2, top of the 10th. Kansas City once again trying to take a 2-0 series lead back home. Toronto wants to go to Kansas City with the series tied. Acker will get the sign from Borders. Acker will set. Here's the pitch. Four is going to be a tough three. And that's going to be a called strike three on the outside corner. Acker couldn't... Acker gets the call and that'll be the first out of the inning. And here's Cromartie. Cromartie tonight is three for five. He started off hot, but he's cooled off a little bit. Acker will look for the sign from Borders. Acker will set, and here's the pitch. Ten is a wheelhouse check, but a 73 is going to be grounded to short. That'll be hit right on the screws, but right toward Lee. He'll get that one and make the play for the second out of the inning. And here's George Brett. Brett is one for four with a single and a walk tonight. Acker would love nothing more than a nice, easy one, two, three inning to get to the bottom of the tenth for the Blue Jays. Acker will get the sign from Borders, and here's the pitch. Six is going to be an in play 27, and against the righty, Brett's going to smack another one for a base hit. And that'll bring Tartable up to the plate. Tartable tonight is one for four with a walk, a single, and three strikeouts. Brett, and, eh, Brett, could they try to steal here with two outs? He is an A. He's an A. He's an A three, which would be an excellent chance. Um. He's a jump of two against a hold of nine. No. Well, no. They're not going to try it. Tarble will swing away. Acker will get the sign from Borders. Acker will set. Looking over to Brett at first. Here's the pitch. Nine is a tough 11. And it's a called strike three on the outside corner. Tarble can't believe it. But he's headed back to the dugout, as are the Royals. Nothing across except the single for the, for the Royals. And we are getting ready for the bottom of the 10th. Once again, I will mention that my house rule for extra innings is going to be in effect. So if we get to, if we get to the top, if we get to the 13th inning still tied, no matter what the tie is, then we're going to go to a clutch roll in fast score to get out of that. Anyway, we've got the we also got the bottom of Toronto's order due up next. Leading off the bottom of the tenth for Montgomery is going to be Manuel Lee. Lee tonight is one for three. Montgomery will get the sign from Maine. He will set. Here's the pitch. Six is going to be an in play twenty-four, and Lee will lead the inning off with a base hit. And that'll put the winning run at first base already for the Blue Jays. The infield will go straight to double play depth. As here's Mullinix. Mullinix is... Is 0 for 2 with two walks tonight. Would they try to lay down the bunt here? With a D bunt, probably not. Lee would be more likely to try to swipe a bag. A B4 is an excellent chance. Jump of 4 against the hold of 5, though. Not good odds. They're not going to try it. Montgomery will get the sign from Maine. He'll look over to Lee at first. Montgomery will turn back to the plate. Montgomery will set. Here's the pitch. Six is going to be an in play 22. Mullenix is also going to smack that one for a base hit. Let's see where it goes and what happens. 
Sharp liner into center field. Runner on first advances first base advances one base plus. So that's gonna be an S8 for Molinex. The question is, are they gonna try to send Lee over to third? Uh no. Unless you're unless the center fielder's got an absolutely terrible arm, which a seven is not. You're not going to try to get the you're not going to get the winning run thrown out and get greedy with that. Here is Kelly Gruber. Gruber tonight is Gruber tonight is 0 for three with a sacrifice bunt back in the eighth. Montgomery looking a little bit nervous. The winning run is at second base. Mullenix is on first. Gruber at the plate. Montgomery gets the sign from Maine. Montgomery will set. Here is the pitch. Three is going to be a ballpark 44. Righty, uh-oh. It's wheelhouse. Gruber's got a hold of one. And that's going to be a double. Lee will come in to score. The Blue Jays will win this game. Right. Lee will come in to score. I don't have to check anything else on the fast action cards. The Blue Jays will win this game by a score of 3-2. to two. This series is tied at one game apiece. Stadium cheers. Yay! Final line score coming up. Um, I'm just going to compile, the, let's see, so two strikeouts, no walks, one hit, no run, no earned, no wild pitches. One plus Montgomery, no, he went more than that, he went, no, he did go one plus, he didn't get anybody out, that was what happened. Oh, he got, didn't get anybody out in the 10th, I should say. Three six batters faced. Struck out none. No walks. Three hits, one run, one earned, no wild pitches. Okay. Um, hold up. Eight hits for the Blue Jays, no errors. For the Blue Jays, three runs on eight hits and no errors. For the Royals, two runs on 12 hits and no errors. Jim Acker is going to end up with the win. Jeff Montgomery will end up with the loss. And this series is tied at a game of peace. And that will do it for this playthrough for game two of game two of the 1991 American League Division Series. Saturday morning, I'm hoping to have, no Saturday, I'm hoping to have another baseball doubleheader. Saturday morning... It will be the Pittsburgh Pirates and the New York Mets in Game 2 of their American League Division Series. We'll have Dwight Gooden going for the, for the Mets and Zane Smith going for the Pirates. Then on Saturday afternoon, Game 3 of the American League Division Series between the Oakland Athletics and the Minnesota Twins as that series shifts over to Oakland. The Twins are facing elimination in that game. I haven't pulled the rosters for that game yet, so I don't know who the starters will be yet. As for the rest of the videos coming up on the channel, Saturday evening, actually probably will be a late, later Saturday afternoon upload, Mystical Munchies will continue out of the official Fallout Vault Dwellers cookbook with the entree, Meyer Lurk Queen Steak, a.k.a. Crab Stuffed Salmon. Sunday we're playing Inside Blitz Football from Inside Sports Games, and Wednesday we're going to be playing Aeon's End. Thank you for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get my content. Be, where, be well, stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then, take care, everyone.